Alright, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, it's VMP here, welcome back to a little more Nova Atis. It's been a hot sack, we've been busy with the new uh, Fantasy Cal Radio series, been having a lot of fun with that, but don't worry, to those of you asking, VMP, did you forget about Nova Atis? No man, come on, it's only been a couple days, like maybe, what's it been? It hasn't even been a week, it's been like half a week since a Nova Atis episode, so don't you worry, we're keeping this series going. If anything, I, I'd expect more people to be asking about A World of Ice and Fire. It's been longer for that one. But anyways, uh, as I kind of said at the end of last episode, I had some I had some work to do. I had some grinding to do, and uh, that's what I've been doing. Um, so I've been putting in a lot of work here at the mines and a lot of work at the forest um, just to get as many materials as possible for the colony. And I've begun building a little more in the colony. So what I wanted to do today actually was experiment around with this thing where you can actually smelt some ores because I've been finding some. So we got a whole bunch of stone, but then I've got four iron ore, four silver ore, and one gold ore. Um, so I don't entirely remember how this works. I know we have to go up here and do some stuff. That's about it. That's the, <laughs> that is the extent of my knowledge. So let's see here. Oh no. Okay. Hmm. So fill minecart with, you either need two iron, four silver, you need six gold ore to make one gold ingot, I think. I forgot about that. That sucks. All right, so let's start with iron. The one that's not important. All right. Put two of them in there. Cool. So we can get this. Can you put four of them in there? Yes. Okay. Ready. All right. Now we're moving the minecart in, dumping all the ores. Okay. Uh, I don't think there are any more prompts here. There's empty minecart, but we already did that. It's doing that, so I think now we go down. Do 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 do. I think we go over here and try to get it get them out of it now. I don't know if we ever figured this out last time. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know if we ever did. Maybe we need to go over here to like the bellows. Eh? Why would we go to the bellows? No, that doesn't make much sense. Hmm. Do we go here? Should probably not be standing on this molten uh, metal, but that's fine. Uh, anywhere over here? No. All right. Let me let me let me look around a little bit. Oh, okay. So it looks like I had to do the prompt again. So let's see here. Smelting ores to produce a base metal is an extensive process that requires skill. Leaving the stuff too long in the furnace will make it hard and brittle. Leaving it too short will make the result too weak. So you've got to finish when it's right in between those. Oh, dear God. All right. Three, two, one. Three, two. Three, two, one. Boom. Like a pro. We got two iron. All right. So wait, let's check it out. Boom. All righty. All righty. I don't think that's actually even worth as much as the uh, ore was worth. Cool. Cool. That's uh, that's that's nice. Um. Hmm. Well, maybe we can actually take this to our ironworks shop. And they'll turn that into tools. I don't know. I think. I mean, I would assume iron is what you make the tools out of, but I could be wrong. All right. So now let's do the more important one. Silver. Boom. Okay. Oh, man. We're only going to get one shot at this one. So do we have to do this twice every time? Or did the first time? Was that just weird? Okay, here we go. Oh, no. See, the last one was easy because it was right at the edge. So... You could, if you did it here, even if you were late, it could bounce off the edge and you could still get it right. All right, three, uh, three, two, one. Do it there, 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 there. That worked? Oh my God, I missed that so horribly that I think, <laughs> we missed it so horribly that it went past the zone, hit the edge, went back into the zone, and then that's when we clicked. All right, you know what, whatever, we're taking it. We got some silver. 810. Awesome. And then the gold, I think we might just sell the gold ore for 540 uh, because it's kind of rare. And honestly, I'm kind of surprised I found any of it. So, we'll go ahead and get on out of here. So, uh, what's been going on? Like I said, been building some more in the colony. Got a couple more houses there. Haven't taken over any more people. Um, I don't know what the capacity is up to. I think it's it might be at like 25 now. I figured out what I was doing wrong. So, last time... We built four houses, but only got the um, the population cap of two houses, and I was kind of confused by that. Apparently, what you need to do is after you build each building, you need to press enter and then leave to make it confirm, 
and then re-enter when you want to build another one. Um, or at least that seems to be working, I guess, for me. So we'll have to remember to do that in the future so we're not wasting a ton of resources. Also, hmm, 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 probably by the title of the video, you can tell. Uh, we found something. A little thing called Yanastasia. So this is one of the legendary blades. I found a rusty version of it that was selling for 10,000 to somewhere in the 10 to 15,000 range. So I snatched that bitch up right away. This is one of the few legendary blades that are actually one handed. Um, and so as you can see, it's pretty fucking beastly 47 swing damage, um, 96 speed. So it's pretty good. And 106 reach is insane. So this is awesome. We're using this. Um, I also found this one right before that. This is also a really fucking good blade. I actually found a masterwork version too, but I didn't buy it because I'd already had these two. Um, this is even faster. It does a little bit less damage, but it has just as much reach. So I don't know. We're going to play around with this one. In the past, the legendary weapons have been a little weird for us, um, but hopefully that's, I don't know. Hopefully that won't be the case this time. Um, I think they're less weird as long as you're using a shield with them when it's a one-handed sword because it is unbalanced. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Anyway, so let's go ahead and head over to our shop over here, our iron works, so we can drop off the iron there. We'll sell some stuff. Um, I got a message. Well, that would be the second message. Okay. <laughs> the Turkin Horde invades. An invasion. An invasion. Stories of an eastern danger have arrived at your court. Uh, they tell you about an eastern warlord named Turgen Tervat Khan, uh, who has invaded Calradia via the eastern borders. He brings a legacy of conquest that cannot be ignored. Travelers tell us all the lanes east of Calradia have been conquered by these warriors. It is easy to become comfortable with the enemies you know, our familiar foes, but to discount the menaces uh, that lurk beyond the known world is to risk a rude awakening. The bulk of the Turgan forces have arrived at Asugan Castle, a place now better known as the Broken Gate of the Western World. These trained warriors do not rest, do not wait, and are ready to conquer more castles and even towns. Well, there ya go. Alright, so I got a message a couple days ago, maybe a week ago in-game, saying that there were, you know, rumors of something happening. And to be honest, I had forgotten about the Turgan Horde uh, up until I got that message. But now it's quite clear that, um they're here and oh okay okay for a second there i was confusing the vega red with the turgan horde red and i was like they just took over half the map in an instinct but no no, no. okay it's not quite that bad they still took over a ton uh so this is their capital um that's a vega land so they took over three towns and decent amount of castles like four or so so okay that's uh that's a little scary wait do they own this too or is this vega that's Vager. That's Vager. The Vagers are actually, they're doing pretty well for themselves. It's interesting. The, uh, what is this? Agonic Order, right? The Agonic Order is actually sieging Aldeberg right now. Okay. Didn't think the Swadians and the Agonic Order would uh, be against each other, but hey, whatever happens, as long as they don't uh, mess around with me and my uh, my shop, I don't care. Um. So can I... Hmm... You can acquire, you may place them in inventories and we'll use them instead of buying from the market. Okay, so I feel like, I feel like iron would be used to make the tools. So we're going to put these in here. Hopefully they get used. Um, I don't, oh my God, the silver is selling for way more than I thought it would. Whoa, 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 baby. There we go. <laughs> oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> right back to what we thought. Okay, well, we'll, we'll sell that. That's fine. Quick 13 hundo, we're doing fine. Um, I have not been have not been keeping the tools in our shop as we produce them because I've been able to find just some like rusty tools and whatnot. Um, and those have been a lot cheaper. We don't make nearly as much money, or we make way more money than we end up um, than we end up getting in terms of tools. So it's better to just let them produce and for me to find the tools elsewhere, and also to have the tools imported in. So tell you what, let's go around. Let's see if we can find. If... Oh, okay. There we go. Cool. <laughs> that was a little weird. Um, net revenue from the blacksmith, two grand. Net revenue from the dye works, one point three. So yeah, so we're getting two grand a week from the blacksmith when he only produces two tools a week. 
and we can buy tools for like 400 i've seen some for as cheap as two or three hundred so yeah it's just not it's just not smart for us to keep them um the colony import lines that's 1500 a week that's really not too bad the pull tax has increased because uh you better believe uh we ranked up again let me show you so we're still making eight grand a week that's not <laughs> that's not shabby that's not shabby we're getting 19 renown a week as well um also not too bad so let's head over here let's see if we can find a few more tools uh and then we'll i'll head back down to the colony and show you guys all of that on it oh okay well we're not gonna pay four thousand but we'll pay 600 for a for a set of tools jesus christ four grand <laughs> all right uh we're not looking for that good that uh artisan tools is that does that make sense that's probably a, actually a real term then like when they say like artisan like uh you know sandwiches or shit like that that's that's when it's kind of bullshit but artisan tools is probably a real thing all right let's fight these guys i want to try out the new sword i haven't really gotten a chance to try this out yet so we're gonna have y'all can chill back here let me uh let me see what we got here oh look how fast this thing is yo <laughs> they're not ready for us guys they're not ready for us uh so anyways uh i'm back in school if you guys didn't know um so that's why there's been a couple days where I've missed uploading. I'm just trying to get back on a schedule. The first day was because I was moving back in. And then now it's just I'm trying to uh, kind of understand what times I'll actually be able to record during my schedule. Uh, the problem is, is that uh, normally what I would do is I'd wait until late at night to record. Uh, because my uh, roommate, Sean, um, normally stays up super late with me. But uh, recently he's been doing he's been doing the smart thing. He's been trying to set a good sleep schedule and, and been going to bed at midnight. Um, but luckily there are a bunch of times during the day that I've found, um, that, uh, none of my roommates are around, or at least they're up and they're not sleeping, um, that I should be able to record. So we should be good. We should be pretty good this semester. Boom. Pop that. Uh, also I'm planning on live streaming this weekend. I really want to do that. So, um, I'm not sure it's probably going to be Sunday. Sunday always seems to be the best day to do it. Everyone's chilling. Um, not going out. A Sunday night or anything like that so that oh baby here are a bunch of tools I'll even you know I'll buy all of those that is perfect they, tools are the limiting factor I found I can I can get all the wood all the stone I need but tools have been rough all right I think we're ready to go so let's head back over to Zendar um I think we might as well bring a couple uh should bring a couple colonists with us right yeah I don't see any reason why not um, we can buy some extra food in Zendar as well, just to make sure that the stores there are topped off. But we should be good to go. Oh, hello. Oh, wow. Okay, 54. A bit more than I expected. Hey, boys, time to go to work. Let's uh, let's see what you can do. Uh, Poppy isn't handling this one all by himself. Oh, I don't like this map. Fuck rivers, man. Not worth my time to try to cross them. Oh, I forgot we had a gun in this mod. God, it's only been like a couple days and I'm already forgetting shit. Oh, man. I've been enjoying Fantasy Cow Radius so much, I forgot how fun this mod was. Well, okay, when you miss that shot, shooting into a entire group of enemies, that's cool. <laughs> that's awesome. Get out of my sight. Well, alright, that's cool. A <laughs> trade convoy guard going down. Surprise, surprise. What a scrub. Alright, so far so good. We're just... Oh, man. They don't know what's hitting them. Although, they're putting some work in on our horse. Let's watch out. Let's tell we're going to pop some healing for us right now. This is actually a lot of guys. Um, 54, is, 54 is no joke. 54 of any unit is going to be annoying. And they're probably going to take out your horse if you're not careful. But I think we got this. Keep it going. Keep it going. James Harper has no... No, no, um... Hmm sympathy empathy for these bandits at all they're just shitty human beings you know even if even if you can you can say that you know hey these guys fell upon hard times you know they're desperate but hey james harper his family they were desperate but uh he never turned to this never turned to this stealing from uh the fellow commoner the fellow man get wrecked these guys are oh my God. see at this point when they run away if this was realistic they would run away They'd be like, oh no, fuck this. Are you kidding me? He's killed a solid 80% of us already? What's the chance that the last 20 of us are going to be able to stop him? He's also barely even hurt. The one thing I am worried about are the big guys with the sledgehammers. The kinky looking dudes. You know what I mean? With the, with the gimp masks. Those are the ones that are scary. 
Because that can actually do some serious damage to us. Ouch. Nice. Nice. Ooh, block that. And stab you. Oh, okay. Ouch. Damn it, I wanted to shoot you. I'm going to pull out my pistol. Pistol whip your bitch ass. Come over here. Or just stay there. And we missed him. All right. Second time's... Second time's a charm. That's not how it goes. Hey, but it worked. Perfect. Here we go. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. We'll, we'll get there with the pistol. We'll get there. Is that... That's everybody. All 54 of them dead at our hands. And only 8 renowned for that somehow. I don't understand this. <laughs> I don't understand it sometimes. Alright, there we go. 750 florins. Not too bad. These guys, they leveled up. Mercenary cavalry. I don't know if the mercenary cavalry are any better. I don't really look that great. But whatever. That's fine. Onwards. Anyone else want to uh, stop our journey? Hmm? No? I didn't think so. Alright, here we go. So let's see here. We'll quick sell this off. And then... Well, we don't actually have that much room for more food. But I guess we can do something. We can just get like some cheap flour and whatnot. Yeah, that should be fine. Awesome. Go to the harbor. So hold up. Why is my fleet costing me so much? 15 florins per member capacity. Oh... No, that's right. 600 a week. Okay, no, that's right. Um, actually, before we do, let's go ahead and try to find some people to uh, join us. Oh, whoops. Not the gate. We should have gone to the suburbs. Okay. The scene demands much of your computer. <laughs> that's fine. All right, here we go. Let's see a few people walking around there. We'll just tell them to hop on that boat. Join me. Awesome. That's one group. Oh, you can only get one at a time, huh? Mm. That's a little frustrating. Whatever. Shouldn't be too bad. On we go! Oh, what is this? Trade convoys. Oh, okay. We're cool. Wow! Okay, Horse Jesus uh, is going across the water again. That's <laughs> So, for those of you who haven't seen it, our, uh, our new series, uh, Fantasy Cal Radio, we have a golden stallion there who we are calling Horse Jesus. Um... This this horse uh, must also be Jesus. He's he's more of Jesus than that than the other horse because he's actually walking across water. This motherfucker right here. What kind of? Oh, it's it's the um it's the Cather horse, right? It's the dark one. Damn. Hey man, if you can walk across water, I don't care what you look like. I'm not judging. I mean, I know I probably shouldn't shouldn't be judging off a of looks ever, but you know, hey, looks are important. All right, no pirates this time. That's what we like to see. And voila. Let's wait for them to get here. Oh, they're here. I think they're, oh yeah, they're already here. Perfect. Yes. Yeah, so, okay. So population cap already up to 25%. Uh, there's actually growth going on. Cool. Uh, goodness. Most of the capable and strong colonists are suffering by gold fever. What? What? Get the fuck out of here. All right. So let's see. We, have, we actually do have a, a decent amount of tools here. And we're almost at max food too. All right, so let's add all of that and add all of the tools. So we're up to 15 tools. That'll be enough to get us to 50. And the importance of 50 is that uh, it'll unlock the next tier of buildings for us. So how do I how do I get rid of this, huh? They stopped working so they can search for gold. Wouldn't that be a good thing, though? We're trying to get gold. I don't know. I don't understand that. All right, so let's go ahead and visit the colony. We're going to build some more stuff. Um, we can actually populate it right now. Cool. So it's at 20. Um, so let's here. I've done a little bit of building. Basically just some more houses. We're just making a, a street here, I suppose. So you can only do one house at a time. Which, you know, whatever. That's fine. The only problem is I don't know how to select the houses. Select the houses that we already built that aren't counting for anything. Because if anything, I just like to get rid of them and replace them with functioning houses. Even if we don't get the tools back, the supplies back from it. Um, yeah, see, there we go. That worked. Even if we don't get the supplies back from them, I just, I don't know. They're, they're taking up space in my colony. Even though I know we have a, a ton of space here to use. I don't like it. 
I don't like it at all. All right, and then we can build. Should we build one more? Or should we start? Let's start a new street, actually. I think uh, we want this area over here to maybe put like a windmill later on, stuff like that. You'll see, there are tons and tons of different buildings for us. Um, so let's see, we need four more houses, right? I think we need four more. Okay, so we'll do that real quick. Rotate this around. Sweet, sweet. Whoops, a little bit this way, a little bit that way. Raise you up a tad. That should be fine. Let me just make sure it's not like on top of the sky. Nope, looking good to me. Pink. All right, so let me place the last couple houses and then uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so I placed the last four houses. I kind of made them into like uh, their own little, it's not really a cul-de-sac, but they're, they're in their own little circle here because these are going to be the last houses of that kind that we're gonna be building. So I want to see if we're going to be able to see the new tier now. I don't know if you just need to get to a population cap of 50 to unlock the new one, or do you, if you have to actually populate to 50 to build the new one. But we'll see in a sec. Oh, uh, yeah, we're going to have to get some more people in here, aren't we? Damn it, right? Because the first... Hmm. Let me double check here. I believe the first one was... Not that, not that. Is it in here? Build at least 10 shacks to increase the maximum population to 50, which offers new possibilities. So it says we just need to get the max population cap to it, which we have it. But I guess, hmm. Well, it seems like we're gonna need to, need to get the remaining 30 slots actually filled with people. So we can go ahead and do that, that's no problem. And then I think what we might go ahead and do. So what are the defenses like here? Uh, build a wooden fort, 20 timber, 10, 10 tools. Oh, fuck that. That's not happening. Not anytime soon, at least. I'm going to wait until this thing's actually making me money before I start protecting it. That's the way I see it. All right, set sail. Let's get out of here. Okay, so we can go ahead and. Yeah, I'll tell you what. I'll take a quick break, and then I'll go ahead and get to three sets of colonists to uh, follow me. Maybe, actually, you know, I think what you can do is you can actually get colonists from different cities. You can only just get one set of ten from each city at a time. So maybe if we, you know, get some from Yalen, get some from Jalkel, and then some from Zendar, they'll all follow us. I mean, it's worth a shot. All right, let's, let's try this out. Let's try this out. I don't think it's only Zendar that you can recruit people from, but I could be wrong. Could be wrong. So let's see. Uh, take a walk around the streets, the suburbs. I got to assume that you can if you can, if there are suburbs here, right? Oh, look, it's <laughs> freaking identical to, uh, to Zendar. Okay, cool. So you can get people. Awesome. So 250. Nice. So I think they should just be walking around and following us right now. Yes. Hopefully they won't actually get attacked by anyone. Ooh, 40 Zendar swordsmen. You are tempting me. You are tempting me. Uh, I know I shouldn't, but I uh, definitely want to fight them. <laughs> Whenever I see uh, groups like that. It's like a terrible idea. Well, I mean, it's actually not that terrible idea. We're, we're pretty buff right now. I know it's early on in the series, but we're already pretty high up there. Um... In terms of strength. Oh, I haven't showed you guys my new social class yet. Oh, man, I forgot to do that. I can't believe it. Oh, we are, we're, like I said, we're moving up. Oh, damn it. No, you can't get more people. You can only get 10 at a time. These sons of bitches. All right, anyways. So let's see here. Character report. Oh, we're over 1,000 renown. Okay, that's cool. Class information. We are finally a part of the upper class, and we are considered an aristocrat right now. Um... The, arist the aristocracy is a class of people holding important offices. These people are powerful and very wealthy. Please, the next class requires you to be a vassal of a kingdom. So this is the most that we can get right now, um, I believe. Well, actually, it says required prestige for next class is 2,000. But I feel like we can't get beyond 2,000 right now. Or at least if we do get beyond 2,000, it's not going to give us a new rank uh, until we actually join a kingdom. But that's probably going to happen next episode. Yeah, I think I'm going to save that for next episode. I already know where we're joining. Uh, I mean, it kind of makes sense. It's the only only faction that, it, that are also uh, atheists like James Harper is. 
So, I don't know. We'll save that for next time, though. You don't, don't, don't have to worry about it yet. So, anyways, I'll be back in a sec. Let me go ahead and shuttle a bunch of colonists over. Okay, I tell you what we haven't done yet. At least I don't think we've done it yet this ep or this season. Is uh, actually save a... Oh, wait, no, we definitely have saved a village before. I take that back. I take that. As soon as we got spawned in here, I remember, yep, we did actually save a village. Well, we're saving another one. Because, you know what? James Harper is a good guy. He's out He's out there for the peasants, trying to, you know, represent them on the larger larger political scene. So, you know, gotta gotta get some rep with them as well. Make him know that he's uh, he hasn't changed now that he's considered part of the upper class. He's still uh, he's still with you guys. He's gonna come in here and almost single-handedly wipe out an entire group of invading bandits. No problemo. Also, something I uh, I kind of remembered. Um, I think if I remember correctly, in this mod you can buy slaves from ransom brokers. Um, which, you know, normally we'd say, hey, that seems like it's kind of against James Harper's character. Uh, but I'm willing to mend this, uh, just so I don't have to spend a bunch of time chauffeuring people over. Um, <laughs> I guess we'll say maybe these are, he's only taken the bad slaves over, and he's giving them a second chance at life. Hey, actually, they don't even have to be bad people. He's taking people that are enslaved currently and turning them into colonists, giving them a free life. Free-ish, you know. I mean, they're still stuck on the colony, but hey. <laughs> it's a whole lot better than where they were before. Uh, at least they'll, you know, not be completely shackled when they uh, get murdered by natives. <laughs> Alright. Boom. Go ahead and refuse it. Gain some honor. Not sure what honor actually gives us in this. It's not like uh, Fantasy Cow Radio where honor actually makes our Holy Avenger sword do more damage. So let's see. Zendar did not have a ransom broker. Let's quick check out Jalkel. You never know. Um, also worth checking out. Oh, we're getting attacked. Oh, gee, hello. Okay. Come on, fire, fire, fire. Damn it. Fire, damn it. Okay. Nope, they're not going to let me fire. Die. Die. Ow, fuck. Knock me the hell out. Die. Die. And, oh, here's the last one. Can we hit a long range? It's sad that this is considered long range for us. <laughs> All right, we, we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. We got 13 shots. It's not like this fucker's gonna hurt us. Boom! That's what I'm talking about. Third time's a charm. Oh man, I don't know about these pants. I don't know about those pants that we're wearing. Everything else looks good, but those pants are a little suspect. Okay, cool. Some more tools. I'll even buy that one. We've got plenty of money. I'm not worried about money right now. Um, I think we're doing fine on like stone and timber, right? I'll buy a little bit of timber. I'll buy the I'll buy the like the cheap ones, but other than that, I'm better off just getting it myself, I think. Yeah. Okay. Let's move this up here. So we got a couple more tools. So hopefully we we should be able to build at least a little something. I think. Wait, what am I oh, fuck, what am I doing? We came here to get some slaves. There we go. So let's see if this is the correct mod. Yes. The slaves. I want to buy them. Uh, ten slaves for eight hundred and fifty. That's a little more than I thought. I remembered them being. And he just took thirteen seventy five from us. What the? F okay, mate, mate. That's not. That's not how this works. You told me they were worth something, and then you charged me almost twice as much. I know you're you're a shady ransom broker, but that's still a little shitty even for you. I'm the one with armor and a legendary sword. I should be able to put a stop to that if I want to. Whatever, whatever. We're going to take these guys. We're going to show them a better life. I mean, only only marginally a uh, better life, but hey, still better. All right, let's get out of here. Back to horse Jesus. I don't know why are we... I don't understand this. I don't know why the horse is uh, the one carrying us there, but whatever. As long as it doesn't cause a game-ending glitch, I'm fine. Um, I've already decided with this series that we're just going to go until either we accomplish what we want, which is the downfall of Swadia, or the mod glitches out, like it did last season twice. Jesus Christ. Okay, for a split second there when the screen froze, I thought it happened. And that would be the worst fucking luck if it happened exactly when I said it. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, um, there we go, still making six grand a week, not too bad. 
Mm -hmm. Some more renown. I love it. I love it. And so I think that's also when the trade sh uh, line should go through. So we should be having some more uh, supplies here as well. Perfecto. All right. Let's sit here. Populate your colony. Send slaves to work. What the f... Yo. We've got some more slaves here. What are you... Oh, oh, interesting. So the, pop the population actually did grow by four. Okay. Whoa. So we wait, hold up. Now, theoretically, shouldn't we be producing gold? We're at 140% work rate. Um, I believe it said we only needed to get to 25 people before it would start producing, right? Work rate is based on the total population of colonists. Population below 25 does not contribute anything to the work rate. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A work rate of 100% will give you one base production of, of timber, stones, tools, food, and the special trade good. Oh, okay. Good to know. Cool. All right. Anyways, well, it looks like we might have to build another one more house then, aren't we? Before we can get the next stage. That or we'd have to wait two weeks for the uh, population to go up again. Damn it, where am I going to put this lonely house now? I built this on purpose so that these would be these houses would all be together. I guess I can put one last one over here, right? Yeah, we should be able to fit in one over here and not have it look too, too awkward. Yeah, you know, we'll put one... Mm. Jesus. Alright, we'll put one right here. I don't, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. I understand that uh, it's not going to look good, but uh, hey, function over form. It, it could be worse. It could be worse. And who knows? The backside probably looks like a mess, but that's fine. Boom. All right. So now populate colony, send slaves to work. Cool. Now we have 54. We should be able to unlock the next tier. If it doesn't, then we got problems, okay? We got problems. Boom, there it is, stage two. All righty, so first off, we unlocked some new houses, the loam house, um, several different kinds of loam houses, and each of them, they each cost the same, but they give you double the max population of the other ones, so it gives you plus 10, pretty nice. Uh, let's see, we got a bush here, cool, awesome, I love it. Marketplace. Um, Gives you plus 50% work rate. That's actually pretty considerable. Uh, so village Chapel also increases the work rate by a lot. Oh, here we, these are what we need to build. All right, so the blacksmith. This building enables your settlement to produce tools on its own, and it gives you five per week for free. That's actually sick, and we have enough to actually purchase it right now. Um, the only question is going to be, where do we want to put it? Honestly, we could put it in the back side of these houses. Like, have this kind of be our industrial sector. Or, like, not even industrial sector. Just, you know, the main part of town. Yeah, I think that could work out. What else do we got here? So then, whoops, stage two. So then there's a the lumberjack, which gives you plus five timber per week. Stone quarry, plus five stones per week. Wheat farm, plus 50 food per week. Um, and the trade good pr producer gives you plus one of whatever trade good. So that's pretty decent too, but uh, for right now, this one is going to be the most important. So let's go ahead and, oh, hello, it's moving me around. Jesus Christ, all right, back off. <laughs> Chill out. Wow, is this it? It's a little, little lackluster. Not actually like a real building, it's kind of just like an open, open area, I guess. Um, all right, I mean, let's put it over here. Let's rotate around a little bit. Can I move? You're going to let me move now? No, that got me kind of stuck here. Okay, we can move this way. I just want to make sure it's not, like, in the way of anything. That should be fine. I mean, hmm. Probably, you know, zoning-wise, not the smartest idea to have burning, uh, like, hot metal and whatnot next to all of our thatched houses. But, um, hey, this is the new world, and I make the rules. So, there you go. <laughs> cool. So, we'll drop that there. That looks good. I think we can go ahead and be done with the colony for this episode. Um... 
And then, like I said, I'll keep on doing some more work with it in between episodes, and I'll be back with you guys uh, once we start, you know, actually producing some gold. Uh, seeing a return on this mag magnificent, I was going to say magnificent, that doesn't make sense. Ginormous, that's better. Ginormous investment that we put into it. <laughs> the fact that it's ginormous does not make it magnificent. Um, I try to tell that to girls all the time, they don't believe me. But, um, <laughs> yeah, hopefully, I mean, hopefully we're going to get money out of this in the long run. Regardless, it's cool just to explore it in this mod. But, uh, let me see. Let's get into one battle here before the end of the episode. One good, challenging battle, and then I think we can go ahead and call it a day. So I'll be back with you guys in a sec. All right, well, I didn't find the battle. The battle found me. I, uh, <laughs> was fast traveling and did not see these guys. Um, oh, man. 39, huh? That... That's a decent amount. <laughs> that is a decent amount. Are they all the Vager footmen? Looks <laughs> looks like it. Well, I don't know. We haven't f faced these guys yet, so I guess we'll see how good they are. All right, we'll take a few practice swings here. This sword seems shorter than it's advertised. It says it's got 105 weapon reach. It does not look like that. It looks more like a 95. Um, but I feel like I remember that from last season where... The legendary swords are deceiving. Um, the textures don't actually match how long the sword actually is. So it, it, there's this thing that would happen where you'd be swinging at an enemy, and even though it would appear that you were short, that you'd miss him by a little bit, it would actually still count as hitting him. So I wonder if that's still a thing. All right, we're still be doing pretty good so far. These guys are, oh, they're only worth 72 experience. What am I, what am I worried about? Let's just chop them down. Stupid deserters running around, annoying my little peasants. Sorry, I shouldn't. I shouldn't say my peasants. My my fellow peasants, right? There we go. That's probably a little bit better. I'm surprised our uh, our mercenary like trade guards and whatnot actually survived that. Look at all. <laughs> look at all of them just standing up here. What are they? Oh, what are they doing? Wow, he's just. You're just holding a dick there and just, you know, just, <laughs> I'm not going to go further. I'm not trying to get this demonetized. YouTube, please, don't do it. Don't do it, YouTube. I need my, you know, two or three dollars that this video is going to make. <laughs> All right, there we go. We can get a mercenary lancer. Wow. Yeah, looking pretty good. Those guys are looking really good, actually. Um, we'll go ahead and, ooh, a Rodot crossbowman. Might as well pick him up. Uh, and you guys want some of this? Oh, never mind. I forgot this was not one of the mods that had auto, uh, auto loot. That's cool. Anyways, let's go ahead and end it off there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. So next episode, I'll be back. We'll be joining a faction. You guys probably already know what it is. <coughs> um, and then maybe we'll actually get a chance to fight some lords. Hold up. Let's, let me, let me check something right quick. Oh, well, th that is perfect. That is fucking perfect. Yep, we're going to get a chance to fight some lords here and uh, finally start exacting some revenge. So I'll be with you guys in a er, couple days probably. Well, I'll see. Probably going to have a World of Ice and Fire in the next two days. Maybe Fantasy Cow Radio tomorrow. Probably a couple days. By the, by the end of the weekend, we'll have another episode out. So until then, as always, take it easy.